Scientists are working to find a stop to red tide, and they may have found a breakthrough with a mobile water treatment machine. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane takes us inside the testing site to show us how it works. We're developing the new technologies that are going to be deployed in the future to decrease the impacts of red tide. And one of those technologies is being tested at Moat Marine's red tide mitigation facility. It's a mobile water treatment machine that can clean 4,000 gallons a minute. You can deploy this in a, in a bunch of different scenarios, anywhere from a, a barge, for instance, with multiple of the trailers like this. It uses ozone technology that is already used to purify fracking water in oil mining and has proven successful in removing red tide cells from seawater. And here's how it works. The machine is actually taking dirty water from this pool. It's coming out of this pipe and is pumped into a chemical-free machine that uses oxygen, sound waves, electricity, and bubbles to treat the water. It then comes up here. It goes through this entire process, then comes out over here on the other side, and then coming back in through this pipe and going into this pool as clean water. And the water's treated with no chemicals, and no lasting harm. And the no lasting harm part is what is now being tested. The treated water is put in tanks with shrimp and clams to make sure the machine can rid the water of harmful algae while keeping marine life safe. And scientists say so far, so good. I'd say this is a very, very high potential technology. The project is one of two dozen that Mo is testing to fight red tide. It's paid for through the state's six year long red tide mitigation program. There is never one tool that will solve the problem. It will be the combination and the use of multiple different tools. Mo says with approval, this machine could be used to fight red tide in the next year. In Sarasota, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.